Now we are ready to go to the access question. Same paper, May 2020. So the access question has databases. Mainly Microsoft Access is used to create databases. They have given you the databases. They have given, uh, there are three tables here. The accommodation table, the booking table and the members table. So the structures are so shown here in the paper itself. So you can go and see. And then we will go to the question. It says, open the club details database and open the accommodation table. So where we are going to find the access or the databases are in your data files, you can open and see Office 2023 you have a access, you have two databases here, club details and future accommodation. They say to open the club details database. So click on that, you will open a Microsoft Access database. With that, then they ask you to open the accommodation table. When you double click, double click on the tables here, you will see the table data is shown. Then we'll move to the question. Question asks, create a form of the accommodation table. Okay, in access, mainly you are going to answer for four, uh, four parts, which includes one form, two queries and a report. That means those are the database objects. Database objects are tables, queries, forms and reports. So here the tables are already given. So you have to create a form and two queries and a report. So first they ask you to create a form for the accommodation table. The form must match the house style, include a suitable title that has a dark background and white text, include the date. We'll see how we are going to do this. First of all, how to create a form. When you go to these tabs, you can see a create tab is there. When you click on Create tabs, you have tables, queries, forms, reports. So here, click on form. When you click on form, they have already created an access form for you. So you can change the view. There are three waves. Go to the design wave where you can design and create your uh, form which they asked. First of all, what you are going to do is this form is missing something. That means this form misses the buttons for this form. So we are going to create the buttons. First of all, drag this footer down. So it takes, it gives you space for the footer. And then create the buttons. Click on form design tools. And there are different tools. When you hover, you can see what are these. This is the button where you have four X inside the box. Click on that and Double click on the, then go to the place where you want it. Double click on the place. Then you will open a command button wizard where you have to create the buttons. First of all, what are the buttons we need? Uh, we need to create, if we need to create an add record, we need to have an add record uh, button and a save button. And if you want, you can have delete buttons. Uh, find next button like that you can have many so for now we are going to create the save and the add record button so that is record operations add new record go to next and then make it text and make it finish then add new button is there then click again double click save button record operations save record next Make it text or it will show like this so it's not clear for y'all. Make it text and finish it. And uh, we are going to align so it will make it nice, show nicely. Now the buttons are done. Then the question asks to match the house style. So house style is there in the scenario. We go to the house style. This is the house style. Sans serif font and the logo bottom center bottom center right so um, first of all we'll create the font as sans serif for that you can create here serif font if the serif font is not 
font you can customize the font click here type serif sans serif sans serif then save it so you will save it and then go and click on the sans serif font so they will change it to the um, place you want sorry uh, the font you want then they say logo position bottom center so the logo this is the initial logo drag it down to the bottom drag it down to the bottom here you can see make it to the center then you can click on this logo button and for the logo you are going to use the caravan image that you have already the logo that you have already created so it's in the um, data files and I will just add an image for now but you have already created one so you can add that I will just add this We don't need this we'll delete this and if you want to drag it and make it big you will have to give it more space and then drag it so you can make it big if you want it to be come in the middle drag it this side so keep it like this right so now go to the form view and see whether it's okay. When you go down R, ah, the bottom, you can see. And the fonts and everything is done. Then we'll go back to the question and see what's next. Uh, include the date. And it says, ah, include the suitable title that has a dark background and white text. So for the title, title they have given as accommodation. Yes, it's okay. A background. To get the background and text color, you click on it so it will have an orange color background and here. When you go to this place, you can see all the properties. The property sheet has the width, height, if there is the back color, it's the background. You click on this through colors and dark color means you can go with the black. And the font color, font color is here make it white so it's done all the if they ask you any property to change the height to change the weight to change the border to put a border everything you can find it here all the properties you can find in this property sheet now that one done and the automated date and time where you can see in the header and the footer just click on the head date and time and then you will get the date and time so automated date and time means you are changing the date day by day. That means if I'm weaving today, it's today's date. If I'm weaving tomorrow, it's tomorrow's date. Then go to the form view. You are done with the form. Neat and tidy. And then go to the question. Uh, save the form as accommodation form. Accommodation form. How to save it? right click on the top bar save accommodation form okay when you save it you can see the form here table and the form then the next part of the question task a to b use the accommodation form you created to add this detail to the accommodation table we are going to add these details we'll see first of all what you have to do is you close this so it's refreshed and then you double click on the form. Now you have opened it. Now you want to add new record. So click on add. Add. Then it's empty. Remember, click on add before you type your data or else you can't save it. Then uh, go to the paper. What are the details? L9 and launch. I'll copy one by one. L nine L nine 
and then lounge and then the next one is copy it has a drop down you'll see ah maximum guest should be six accommodation name is this is six and the rating gold gold then cornwall is the location and it says the breakfast package is yes yes oh i missed something sorry for that so this should be l9 the number and this should be launch lodge right then you are going to save it save it after saving you go to the accommodation table refresh the table and you can see here l9 is there what we have added right now okay so the second part is done then they ask you to take a screenshot of the completed form if they ask you to take a, a screenshot of the completed form this will be the screenshot this part take a screenshot and paste it in your answer sheet then we are going to do the queries to do the queries they ask you store sort the accommodation table into alphabetical order by location so they ask you to sort it so accommodation table location should be sorted according to the alphabetical order how to sort it we'll see we can go and click on filter so it will sort a to z just click on that or else you can do something like this right click on the column it will show you everything so to is it said or write this that part also done then they ask you the query uh lucy wants a list of accommodation that is in a yacht available for three days lo located in Cornwall. Now, what is a query actually? Query is a filtering process. That means uh, we are filtering according to a particular criteria. Imagine, now looking at this table, imagine I want the people who used a caravan. So this, this table has everything. I want a table to see all the people who use a caravan so for that we are using this queries now they say they want to find the people who used a yacht for three days location cornwall you go to the to create the query go to create and create design when you create design this will be your information uh, interface click the accommodation your whatever the uh, the tables you need we need only the accommodation table then the criteria the um, fields that you need so what are the things we need is we need the accommodation type accommodation type will be there double click on it so the accommodation type will be shown here then you need uh, the three days that means uh, what was it the second criteria available for three days available for three days is now this one is not in this table so we are going to check in which table we have our ah, number of days booked are in the booking table so you need to add the booking table as well so when you go to this part you can see uh, when you go to query design you can have add tables, booking table also you need it. Then uh, number of days booked. Then what you need is located in Cornwall. 
that means the accommodation not the rating location right now we are going to give the criteria now we have created the basic um, query we are going to give the criteria what are the criteria are accommodation type should be in a yacht so yacht is a name type tier yacht is a name type tier so that what we are going to do is we are going to go and create the query equal double quotations yacht and double quotations ended right so we are adding the equal to equal to indicate something like this and because it is typed only a name typed we are putting it in double quotations then number of days three days equal three if it is a number we don't need a double quotations and then the location is convert Cornwall. So Cornwall is also a, a name type. So equal double quotations Cornwall. Then end. I'll magnify it so you can get a clear. You can see how it has. I have built it right. Then we are going to run this and see whether it's working. Okay. Okay, there is a small issue here. We'll see. Okay, why you are T. I have a small mistake done here. The I'm really sorry for that. It is the um Spelling mistake, it should be Y U R T, and then I will run it right now. You can see the people who are in the, this accommodation, this number of dates, and this location. Right, so we are done with it. That's very easy. Very easy. And then it they say show only these field in order accommodation ref maximum guest and the accommodation name so that means in this table there should only show the accommodation ref maximum guest and the accommodation uh, name so for that we'll go to the design wave what we need is accommodation ref accommodation ref double click on it then accommodation and uh, maximum guest and the accommodation name then this say if you want to show it you tick it if you don't want it you can untick this but you don't delete it because if you delete this whole thing the criteria deletes so you need this and they say to sort it to be sorted descending order in accommodation name so the accommodation name there is a sort value you can click here you have ascending and descending click on descending again i'll magnify for you right now you can see how the code has been the query has been created this is the query then if you run this you can see that is now you can't see the other fields you only can see what you are asked to. Right. Then we'll go back to the question. You are done with that question. Then they ask you to create another query. Uh, Lucy wants a list of clients who have signed up and received an e-letter and who have booked to stay in Stafford Hut or a caravan. So open the accommodation booking and members table. So you have to create all the tables. 